and in death, Victor Motley has been able to bring the community together like never before. Residents angered by his death gathered for prayer at a vigil the Saturday evening, using the moment to urge a collective community response and standing up to criminal elements in the neighborhood. It was a defiant stance in the face of violent crime that is threatening the Menard Hill Marshall community. Many who attended the vigil themselves have been victims of robbery, attacks, including sexual assaults. It was a clear message to the criminals amongst them that they would no longer find a haven due to the silence of residents. Young and old, men, women, children gathered in the area where Victor Motley succumbed to a gunshot wound. A candle and a long stemmed flower placed at the exact spot his body fell. Described as a pillar in the community, Victor displayed a kind disposition towards everyone, always lending a helping hand. A candle shone atop his car, symbolizing the spirit he brought to the community. His sister, consumed by pain, collapsed on the car he will no longer drive, sobbing uncontrollably. His brother, who came in from Miami Friday, had been eager to see his favorite sibling, but never imagined losing him in such a violent way. But I would see him spend some time with him because come along, I just see it's kind of turning point. And that's very sad, you know, to come to see your brother and that's the way you see him. And up now, I haven't even been to the mortuary. I don't want to go to the mortuary. I can't watch my brother. I can't walk to the country like vision. See, because he was a loving brother to me. Before I listen, I literally went anywhere. He pay my bills for me, pay my light bill, my water bill, my house bill, and give me everything I want. And today, it is my turn to come back to give him something. He's gone, and he's gone for his works. And not for bad doing, for his own works, you know, my dear. But let the Lord take his own course. A board bearing messages to rally the community to action is to serve as a reminder to all that the efforts are needed to take back the community. Because all of us wonder better for our communities and for our families. Because sometimes so many things happen and it's only when it hits home that we realize that something could be done about it when we come out to support. So I believe it's a good idea, a good idea. I hope the persons that turn out tonight are actually committed to the cause. I came here to show that we're totally against what has happened. And it's high time, you know, stop the violence. Because many families are hurting on both sides. And I mean, this is really serious, you know. So something has to be done. It's good to see so many people out there showing support because we're really truly determined to, to stop what is happening around here. Too many people getting ambushed, too many people getting robbed, and we want to put an end to that. That, that, that could fear in everybody's life, you know, to see you rise in the morning, you can't be able to, you know, go down the road and jog anymore. You know, go and run, at least come by the road and see, you know. I mean, when you hear them kind of things, you know, you know, like, you wonder what, what's wrong with St. Lucia. St. Lucia not the way of St. Lucia. In fact, men are not men are again. Because the way men are used to be, loving, you know, everybody together. Men are never had no killings, no murders, none of them things, you know. And that, that, that's, very, that's very sad, you know, to hear them kind of thing. But believe me, it's better than that, you know. And if that happened, we don't want that to happen again. You know, we need to do something about that. 